In this video, we show you how to use F5's Application Services 3 extension, or AS3, to reference existing objects you've already created on your BigIP system in an AS3 declaration. If you aren't familiar with AS3, we recommend you see the documentation on clouddocs.f5.com for installation instructions, prerequisites, and a large number of sample declarations. And be sure to see our first video showing the basics of installing and getting started with AS3. The links are also in the description. We're going to show you how to use the AS3 property Big IP in a declaration to specify configuration objects that already exist on your Big IP system. There are a large number of objects you can reference, so see the documentation for a full list and for more details on the syntax. In this example, we're going to show how to compose an AS3 declaration that uses an SSL certificate and key already present on the Big IP. So first we open the Big IP configuration utility to see our existing SSL cert and key. In this example, it's demo certificate. To start our declaration, we're going to copy the simple example declaration in the quick start section of the documentation and modify it to use our SSL certificate. I copy the quick start declaration and then paste it in a RESTful API client, in this case, Postman. Before we add the new code for the certificate and key, we need to update the sample declaration from HTTP to HTTPS. Updating the remark isn't necessary, but we must update the template and the class. The other requirement for HTTPS is that we need a server TLS property. In this case, we name it demo underscore SSL. This property simply references our TLS server class, which contains our certificate and key, which we add next. So here, we go to the end of the declaration and start to add information about our server TLS property named demo SSL. The class must be TLS underscore server. And then we add a reference to our certificate, which we name demo underscore cert. Once I close out the demo SSL property, I start adding information about the demo certificate we just referenced. For this object, the class is certificate. And then I add the big IP keyword and the full path to my SSL certificate and key on my big IP. In this case, the certificate and key are in the common partition, so I add that path. If your object exists in a different partition, you use that full path. Before I submit, I quickly clean up a couple auto-generated brackets and then submit the declaration. Once I submit, I receive the success message with my declaration returned. Now, I return to the Big IP configuration utility to see what was created. First, I must select the tenant, this is a partition to the Big IP, that was in my declaration, which is sample 1. You can see two virtual services were created. The redirect service is automatically added by the HTTPS template we used in our AS3 declaration and simply redirects any HTTP client request to HTTPS. I click the main virtual service and I can see the demo SSL profile was created with the name I used in the declaration. We can open the SSL client profile and see the certificate I referenced in the declaration. And that's all there is to it. To further the example, I'm going to change the pool in the declaration to a pool I already have on the Big IP. I change back to the common partition and click pools. And you can see the existing pool named demo underscore pool. So we switch back to Postman. And first I remove the entire pool section of the declaration. Now I go to the line where the pool is defined. And in place of the reference to the pool I just deleted, I add my big IP reference to the existing pool. Again, I use the full path. In this case, the pool is also in the common partition. And the name was demo underscore pool. I submit the declaration to update the configuration. Back on the Big IP system, I change back to my sample 1 partition, click the virtual server, and then the resources tab to see my virtual service is now using the existing pool named demo underscore pool. See the sample declarations in the documentation for more examples of referencing existing objects. Thanks for watching.